welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a wonderful day in today's video ah i'm so excited guys i'm doing a video that i don't know if i ever thought i could do and i'm so excited you obviously know from the title but i am doing my first ever sephora uk haul ah <laughs> Honestly, I'm so excited. Sephora, if you're not um, based in the UK or you don't know, hasn't been in England for a long time. I think it might have been here. Like we had one or two shops like years and years and years ago. Um, but for as long as I've really been into makeup, Sephora hasn't been around. So it would always be a highlight if you got to go to America or you got to go to Europe to somewhere where they had Sephora. But now we have Sephora, yay! <laughs> Sephora, if you don't know, have recently purchased Feel Unique. So they have taken over the Feel Unique website as of yesterday, my time, uh, two days ago, your time, um, on Monday basically, and they have have brought over some, not all of the brands, but there are some brands on there that I've been wanting to try. One brand in particular, which features very heavily in this haul that I just haven't had a chance to try, and that's Tarte. Now you can get Tarte in the UK through QVC, but that's the only place unless you wanna order from Tarte and have it shipped over from America. So now we can get Tarte from an easily accessible place, which I'm so excited about. So there's quite a lot of Tarte in here. So I thought I'd show you what I've picked up for my first ever Sephora UK haul. And then maybe I'll do another video where I do a bit of a chitty chatty, get ready with me, life update kind of video. And I'll use some of these products so I can show you what I'm thinking about them. I'm so excited guys, I'm so excited. Like look, we even have the iconic Sephora branding. Like I've been to Sephora once, um, and that was when we were in New York a couple of years ago and I kept my Sephora bag for so long. Like it was on display on my shelves, like probably when I started YouTube, it was about then that I had it on display. Um, and I just kept it for so long, but now it's easily accessible. <laughs> um, so let me show you what I've picked up. If you've picked anything up already, let me know in the comments what you've already bought because I'm so interested to hear. And if you're gonna place a little order, let me know what you're getting because I can see myself placing another order very soon. Um, so right on the top, we'll get into this at the end, but I did get a very generous free gift with purchase. So I'll show you what I purchased first and then I'll show you what's in here at the end. So, shall we start with the tart because uh, I've been so excited to try Tarte for a long time and we don't have the widest selection like they didn't have the eyeshadow palette that I wanted there's a lot more products that I'm hoping will come but I still managed to pick up quite a few things for the fact that we don't have everything yet so the first two things that I picked up are from the Tarte C range these are the breezy cream bronzers and cream blushes so that's what the cream bronzer packaging looks like. And this is the cream blush. So we'll start with the blush. There were two shades available in the blush, a more peachy one and a more pink one. I got the pink one, this is called Pink Sky. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't have, well, this is my first cream bronzer and I only have a couple of cream blushes. So I'm quite new to the trend. So I'm excited, I've heard good things about these. So this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute, quite like, simplistic and basic but I actually quite like it I think it's going to take up a bit of space in my drawer but I've got enough drawers it's fine <laughs> so this is what it looks like inside that's a pretty color I think it's a bit deeper than I was maybe expecting but that is pretty we do have a mirror oh see I like this because there's a lot of room to get your brush in whereas with some of the other like cream pot um blushes that are like a lot smaller it's a bit hard to get your brush in so I'm excited to give that a go let's give it a swatch oh it looks so fresh and new I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to swatch but I do I really do okay wow that is super creamy that's what it looks like on oh I just dropped it uh. It's fine, it's fine, let me just close that. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the finger. Let's do a bit of a swatch. That's a pretty color. It's definitely a lot deeper than I thought. I think it's pretty matte, but it does look, um, for it being such a deep color, it looks like it'll blend quite nicely. I do have a brush, which I'll show you in a moment that I've got to try these products with. Let's just have another go. 
Yeah, I think that's going to be really pretty on my skin tone. I'm very excited to give this a go. I don't know if there were more shades, but there were only two on the UK website. And with the bronzer, there was only one. So I hope it works for me because I didn't have a choice. This is in Seychelles. It looks like a good shade online, but you can never tell with these things. So the packaging is very similar. It's just a bit, um, a little bit thicker than it is with the blush and a little bit a little bit bigger I think um, but let's see we have a mirror inside again and this is the shade oh is it gonna be too dark I, I'm hoping I can like I'm hoping I can make it work but it's again it feels very very similar this is the shade on my finger it might be a little bit too dark hmm I think I think I can blend that out and make it work yeah I think I think I can make that work. I'm so, I've never had a cream bronzer. I've got one liquid bronzer, but it just like disintegrates into nothing. This is my first ever cream bronzer. Yeah, I can make that work. Oh, I'm excited. You'll have to let me know if you've tried these before. What do you think? But yeah, I'll definitely use these in an upcoming get ready with me. Um, I'm excited to put them to the test. Let me know your favorite cream bronzer and your favorite cream blush because I am a bit late to this trend, but I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm excited. We'll just take a slight diversion from the Tarte haul because I did pick up this brush. This is the Refi Duo brush and it has one side for cream bronzer and one side for cream blush now I've never tried from any anything from Refi and I don't normally like a dual ended brush but I thought this was perfectly designed and I don't have anything for these cream products so I thought two in one um, but let me know if you have tried stuff from Refi and what you think of them so you've got a bigger sort of um, less dense side here which I assume is for the bronzer um, and then a thicker shorter denser side here which I'm guessing is for the blush this side's really soft I'm not sure about this side and you can see some of my bristles are a little bit displaced and disheveled and I think this was like 16 pounds so like I guess it's like eight pounds of brush um, but you would expect it to be like a little bit less disheveled but hey um, it is still quite soft this white side is just super soft so yeah I think I, I don't know like I feel like that's a bit a bit big to use for for bronzing but this is the the bronzer side but we'll have to see I'll definitely give it a go let me know if you've tried much from Refi because I like I said this is my first thing from them I know they're meant to make really great brow products and um like cream cheek products but let me know Back to Tarte, I had to get one of the Maracuja Juicy Lips. I've heard so many people rave about these and Becky Reynolds um, has told me about these quite a few times, so I had to get one. I was struggling to pick the shade because I was like, there's so many I want, but I picked the shade Strawberry. Now I know they have um, lots of different formats, like they have the Glossy Lip, the Juicy Lip, the Plump Lip, the Liquid, the, the Lipstick Lip. There's so many, but I thought I would start with the Juicy Lip. So this is what the packaging looks like, cute, with the pink, and then we do have a little um, button that I think you press for it to come up. This shade looks gorgeous. Okay, how many times am I going to have to press it to get it? Uh. Okay, so yeah, you can see that it comes out, but don't press it too many times because you can't put it back. So let's do a little swatchy. <gasps> oh, I love that. I love that. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. It's so glossy. <gasps> Doesn't smell. It has a little bit of a smell, but nothing too much. Oh my gosh. I think that this, I'm loving a glowy lipstick at the moment. I'm not, I'm, I can get on board with a gloss, but I'm more of a glowy lipstick and one that can, can be a bit sheerer or can be built up. Like hopefully you can see it's a bit sheerer here and a bit more built up there. I am very excited about this. Very, very excited. I can see me picking up multiple shades in this. <laughs> then from Tarte, I got two more things. I had to get Shape Tape. I have never tried Shape Tape before and I'm a few years too late to the Shape Tape game, but I had to try it. And I did get a mini and I got the lightest shade in the mini, which looked online to be a good shade match. But now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh gosh so this is in 22 n light neutral and like 
Oh, I don't know. We're gonna have to swatch this. It's the teeny tiniest little mini, but I just thought there's no point me getting a full size until I know if I like it. Like, I must be the last person on the planet to have tried shape tape because years ago, everyone was, every man and his dog was raving about shape tape. I just, I couldn't get it at the time. Okay. <gasps> oh, that looks like it's gonna be way too dark for me. Hmm, I might be able to, no, oh, that's super dark. I mean, I've got it, so I'll test it and I'll see if I like the formula. Um, but if I do like it, I think I'll have to pick this up in a lighter shade. It's super creamy, super pigmented, everything that you've ever heard people rave about with shape tape. I think it's gonna be really, really full coverage. So yeah, that's a bit disappointing, but you know, that's my own fault. Getting your shade right online is so tricky. And they only had a couple of shades in the mini, so hey. I can test out the formula. And then another oldie but goodie, well I hope goodie, is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. People used to rave this all the time. I used to watch Kelly Strack a lot, um, like a couple of years ago, and this was I think her favourite mascara, but she never stopped talking about it if it wasn't. So, you know, I'm, I'm just catching up on all the products that I've missed throughout the years. The packaging is interesting. It's like this like sewn on leather type packaging. And then, oh yeah, this is interesting. So the wand isn't the thickest. It's not the smallest, but it's not the thickest and it's got a natural bristle. So I'm excited to try this. I am really, really hard to please when it comes to mascara. I don't think I have the best lashes. So a mascara has to be something special for me to enjoy it. But like, look at that picture. Their lashes look incredible. Like if you look at that before and after. So it best be good because it wasn't cheap. But I had to, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't place my first ever Tarte order without shape tape and without that mascara because that's what Tarte was in my mind. Um, and next time we'll try some eyeshadows. So next up, I picked up quite a few bits actually from the Sephora collection because a lot of the brands on the website you can get in the UK now with how far along places like Boots have come. We've got so many more brands than we used to, but Sephora collection, obviously we couldn't get. So the first thing that I am so excited about is this foundation. I have heard the American YouTubers raving about this foundation recently. It's the Sephora best skin ever. And I got mine in the shade 04N. This looks like a good shade, so fingers crossed. Let's see. Ugh, don't wanna, yeah, that looks like a perfect shade match for me. Like, let's see. It feels really creamy. I think it's probably gonna be, oh, that's actually too light. Oh, that's too light. <laughs> like, that's um gonna be a little bit light, but you know, we can darken it up with the bronzer. <laughs> It feels like it's not gonna be super, super thick, but it'll have a good amount of coverage and it'll hopefully be a little bit hydrating, but we'll have to see. Um, it says medium buildable coverage for the look of naturally perfected skin. I would always rather my foundation be too light than too dark because I can always use like bronzer and things to bring a bit of a uh, dimension back into my face. They do have a dewy version of this and I was tempted to buy them both, but I thought, you know, hold your horses, try one at a time, but let me know if you've tried both, which do you prefer? but yeah I like how sleek the packaging is so I'm so excited I'm so excited to try that out next up I picked up two of the lipsticks like how cool is this packaging so I picked up the spiked lipstick in matte and the offshore lipstick in satin um because I wanted to try two formulas so let's swatch them both so I've got so many swatches on my hands <laughs> um so this is spiked Gosh, that's nice. That is a gorgeous colour. That'll be great for autumn. So this is the matte shade. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then I picked up, this is Offshore. This is, um. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more bright than dark, but we'll have to see when it swatches. This is the satin lipstick. Oosh, 
Wow, <laughs> yeah, definitely an autumn shade, maybe even going into Christmas. But I'm glad that I picked up two very different shades to give a try and two formulas, but that does look beautiful. I just have a feeling, like if it's this dark, I try and go for a matte lipstick or a liquid lipstick um, so that it sets down. I think this might go all over my face, but I cannot wait, I cannot wait to try that. Then I picked up one of the blushes. This is a matte blush in Flirt It Up. I do tend to go for a more glowy blush, but I did think this colour looked beautiful. So where am I going to swatch this? I've got swatches everywhere. I love that it comes with a little mirror in the blush. So it is quite a pink toned blush. It's a bit of a deeper pink. I think it's coming up a bit brighter on camera. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pigmented, but it's not so pigmented that, you know, when you touch your face with the brush and you're like, uh, I don't know how to work with that so I think it's quite buildable um I think that's a really pretty shade like you can sheer it out and it seems a little bit of a lighter pink but then if you can deepen it up by building it up at the same time I I mean I'm loving blush at the moment I'm loving it I kind of want to put I kind of want to put some blush on my face <laughs> I did my makeup this morning for work. It's um, like the evening when I'm filming. I know that this isn't the right brush, but let's just, let's just go in. Oh, that's pretty. I do like that. Ooh, I just think it makes me look really flushed but like in a really healthy, beautiful, glowy way. Oh, I feel like I've just, I've just, I've just been outside on a winter's walk and I ca I've come back and I'm all reinvigorated and I've got, you know, a bit of energy into my skin. I like that. I just keep looking at that lipstick swatch on my hand and I cannot wait to get that like raspberry on my lips. So I picked up a, cute, a few more things from Sephora. I picked up two single eyeshadows to try. I don't tend to go for a single eyeshadow, but sometimes if they're really special, then I could be interested. So the first one that I got is a glitter um, and this is in Smell of Roses. Now I'm hoping it's a glittery shadow rather than a pressed glitter. I should have really, you know, checked that but it's a gorgeous pinky like it's it's almost like a lavender leaning pink um in the pan so let's give it a swatch mm, I'm not sure about this it doesn't like it's pretty it's very metallic um there's some glitter in there but for me it just feels like a shimmer shade let me just bring the brightness of my camera down because you might not be able to see. Hopefully you can see a little bit better there. So it's really metallic and reflective, but there's not really that much glitter. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't say I'm that impressed with this one. The other one looked beautiful online. This is a sequin effect in the shade Fool's Gold. Um, I couldn't find out what sequin effect means. It just looked super pretty online. So let's see. Okay, it feels like somewhat of a pressed glitter but it has quite a wet base yeah that's a pressed glitter that is a pressed glitter it's super pretty i'm not the biggest fan of pressed glitters but i'll definitely give it a go yeah i'm not so impressed with these so i'll have to you know, put them to the test and it might be that i just didn't pick the best formulas because they have loads of formulas or i didn't pick the best shades but I'll give them a go. I'll give them a go. And they were, they were affordable. Not the cheapest, but not super expensive. So it means I can try these things out. And then the last thing from Sephora Collection, I wanted to try out their brushes. So I picked up the number nine crease brush. I am always looking for more eye brushes. So let's give this a go. Oh, I like the packaging. It's like, it's, it's like a metallic lavender. Again, a lot of lavender going on. Oh, that's super soft. Oh, I love this. I love this. It's a fluffy crease brush, but it isn't too big. Like it's kind of small in detail, but not so tiny that it, you know, isn't good for the crease. That is, that is so soft. Oh, okay. Not the heaviest or most weighty brush, but I think, I think that's going to be great. I think this is going to fill a gap in my brush collection, actually, which is surprising because I have a lot. Um, but I have a lot of brushes that aren't exactly what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, 
They do do a like Sephora Pro or Sephora Lux, something like that brush collection, but they're like 20 pounds brush, whereas I think this was 10. Um, and a little tip actually, with um, Sephora UK, you it, because if it used to be Feel Unique, they've carried this on, but you can pick two brands um, that your favourite brands, and then you get 10% off. So for the, I picked Tarte and I picked Sephora um, collection. I think you can only change them every couple of months, but I managed to save myself like 20 quid on the order or 17, something like that. Excited to try that. And then the last thing I picked up um was not necessarily something i couldn't get a hold of but it's something that i've been wanting i haven't tried this product for years and i remember that i used to like it it is the moroccan oil treatment and i've been using the olaplex oil for about a year now and i don't think i think the olaplex oil is that great i love a lot of the other olaplex products but not the oil so i wanted to get this again because it was one of the first oils i tried and i loved it but i don't know if it's because i didn't have anything to compare with so i got a little a little sample size well it's not a sample like it's 25 mils this will last forever but it's the baby size and i thought let me just revisit it and see what i think now so let's give it a smell yeah, it's not the most overpowering smell, but it's not a bad smell at all. So I'm excited to give this another go and like compare whether my memory lives up to what I think now. So I did get to choose two samples because I'd spent so much. I've got a sample from Dr. Barbara Strum. I'm currently using the face cream. I've got like a 20 mil that I got in like a subscription box or an advent calendar or something. Um, and I love it, but I will never buy it because it's like over £100 for the actual um, moisturiser. But when I saw that they had a serum to try, so this is Glow Drops, I was like, yes, I'll pick that. And then the other sample I got is from Glowish, the Huda Beauty brand. This is the Blur Jam. This is a silicone-free smoothing primer. So I was excited to pick these samples. But even more excited for this gift we've purchased. So, because I spent over 120 pounds, it was either over 100 or 120, I think it was 120, I got this jam-packed bag full of goodies to try. So it comes in this gorgeous, like, faux leather cosmetics bag, which is just gonna be perfect for traveling. This is such great quality in itself that I'm so excited in it. says Sephora on the little tags, which, you know, is, is exciting. This is exciting. Oh, how many of us have dreamt for how long that Sephora would come to the UK? Wow, okay, this is packed. I'm gonna have to put this on my lap. This is packed. Oh my god. Okay, let's just uh, work through this quickly because I this video is already getting long. So the first thing that we've got is from Pi. I think the brand is Pi. Pi. Yeah, Pi. It's the C2 Believe Brightening Vitamin C Brightening Moisturizer. We get 10 mils. I've never tried anything from this brand. I feel like I've heard of it, and I think it's an expensive brand um but i love vitamin c in my skincare uh it just you know wakens up the skin gives you a bit of a glow brightens you up so i'm excited for that i'm going to try and speed along um we have from too faced the lip injection extreme i have one of these and i have another one that i'm giving away so this can be a third one that can go in another giveaway this is just the mini these if you've never tried them don't try them when you need to do something important afterwards because they are extreme. Like, they are the most, like, intense lip plumpers I've ever tried. So this will go into probably my 25K giveaway because um, I'm on my way to 25,000 subscribers. So I'm building up an amazing giveaway. Wow. Okay, I've had little, like, 10, 25 mils of this. But this is big. This is from Philip Kingsley. This is the Elasticizer Therapy Therapizer. Elasticizer Therapies in Caribo, Mango and Hibiscus. It's a deep conditioning treatment. 75 mils. Wow. Okay. So inside we have the product and we have 
a hair mask because you leave this on for so long before you get in the shower and it's like a little pre-shower treatment 10 to 20 minutes it says i am so excited we never see full i don't think it's full size but i've never seen a 75 mil in any like giveaways or boxes or advent calendars before so that's amazing we also have the superfood glow priming moisturizer from elemis i already have two of these it's a really nice glowy primer moisturizer like duo product gives your skin a really nice glow before your makeup goes on we have speaking of olaplex a 20 mils of the number three this is no i love the shampoo and conditioner and then the number three comes behind it this is again sort of similar to the elasticizer a pre shampoo and conditioner treatment that you can put on your hair before you wash it we have a skin fix barrier plus triple lip lipid peptide cream that was really hard to say this is 15 mils i don't know anything about this brand whatsoever um but it's a moisturizer with triple lipid peptides in whatever that means <laughs> but I'm always excited to try out a new brand. I get the feeling that some of these brands are super, super pricey. So this is a, another moist, this is a multi-peptide 360 moisture cream from Evolve Organic Beauty. We've got 30 mils in here. 30 mils is full size for a moisturizer. You usually get between 30 and 50 mils. Um, we've still got loads in here. Come on, Trina, let's get through. So we have got from the brand, Davines, Davines, it's the all-in-one milk with, what is this? It's a multi-benefit beauty treatment. Is this a facial spray? It's got a little spritzer. Um, I've never heard of this. Oh, it's for hair. Oh, it's for hair. So it's a multi-benefit beauty treatment for your hair. Usually when you say beauty, I think it's for the face. Um, okay, let's give it a little spritz just to smell. I think it smells nice it smells quite fresh but also a bit like powdery like grandma makeup -y. <laughs> um again another one for me to look into these kind of things are so great for trying out brands and products that you would never have tried before oh we have a mini milk mascara this is the rise mascara oh my gosh i've never tried a milk mascara before let's see oh it is a curved chunky bristly wand i haven't heard anything about this mascara let me know if you've tried it i love minis of mascaras because it's not often that i use up a whole mascara we have briogeo oh this is the don't despair repair deep conditioning mask this is 30 mils so you'll get a couple of uses out of this i've only heard amazing things about briogeo so you know ah, this murad guys this is incredible i love murad um they do my favorite cleanser it's the aha bha cleanser something like that i love it um this is the retinol youth renewal serum we've got five mils so this is about a third of a size you usually get about 15 mils with a serum so this is hopefully gonna take my skin back a couple of years now that i'm turning 30 next year i don't want to talk about it I don't want to talk about it it's happening i think i'm okay with it <laughs> then we have from madara this is the dermacollagen night source sleeping cream i need a new night cream actually so this is perfectly timed this has anti acti acti fill peptides in it um 15 mils then we have free treatments from dr Dren dennis gross expensive products this is the alpha beta extra strength daily peel so this is like a two-step peel process i've had either this one or something similar from the brand before you use um like one wipe first and then there's another wipe that you use afterwards so let me show you so we've got three of the treatments in here so you've got the exfoliate and smooth and then the anti-aging neutralizer and you just use the one wipe and then you use the second wipe and I think this is going to be a bit of a, yeah, it's a peeling. Um, well, yeah, I said it's a daily peel. It's going to help to remove that top layer of skin and reveal the beautiful, healthy skin below. Four products left, guys, four products. We have my favorite liquid eyeliner. This is the tattoo liner from KVD Beauty. 
I can't even remember what KVD Beauty stands for anymore because they've changed it a few times, I think. But I love this liner so much. I've got it in black, I've got it in brown. This is just a mini, but that's going to be perfect for when I'm traveling. It's a brush tip, which is my favorite. So yes, definitely. Am I using, did I use this today? No, I used the Huda Life Liner today, but yeah, this is my favorite liner. We have got a 15 mil of the Special Cleansing Gel from Dermalogica. Dermalogica is an expensive skincare brand. I haven't tried much from them, um, so I'm excited to give this a go. I'm just trying to get through these products here, guys. This video isn't a million years long. Then we have, oh, another hair oil for me to try. This is from Fable and Maine. This is the Holly Roots Hair Oil. We've got five mils. You only need a couple of drops of hair oil, so this will give me a good chance to see what I think of the brand. I've never, I've never heard of this brand before. I've never heard of a lot of these brands, so I'm really excited to have some new things to try. And then finally, we have a Laura Mercier blush. I've heard amazing things about Laura Mercier blushes. This is in the shade Ginger, and it's a wee little baby. This is a really sort of neutral, um, peachy, browny kind of blush. Oh my gosh, that's so soft and creamy. <gasps> People rave about these blushes. So hopefully you can see that on my finger. Can I swatch it anywhere? That is so smooth. I think you can build it up. It's just a really like natural kind of blush shade, a bit more neutral than I tend to go for. But I'm so excited. I've never tried one of their blushes before. If you love Laura Mercier blushes, let me know your favourite shade in the comments because I've just thrown it on the floor. I am looking to try some new blush. Guys, I don't know what to do with all these things. <laughs> There's so many exciting things here that I got in the free gift, never mind that I bought myself. So I hope you've enjoyed this haul. I've just been so excited to do this. Ever since I heard this were, that Sephora was coming to the UK, I was like, I need to be on the site at midnight to place my order. <laughs> so let me know if you enjoyed this let me know if you want to see more beauty videos like this let me know if you do want me to do a chatty get ready with me where I do a bit of a like general life update and use some of these products but if you did enjoy this video if you could give it a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and I'm gonna go and um probably just swatch everything all over again anyone else do that when you get new makeup just swatch it like every five minutes no just me all right thanks so much for watching bye